In this video, I want to show you guys a new app for Windows called Windows Sill. And this thing is actually pretty amazing. So this app is available in Microsoft Store. You can get it from here and uh, just open it up and you'll get the new bar, just like a taskbar. Uh, by default, it will be set to bottom, but you can move it to wherever you want. Top, bottom, left, right. I prefer it to the top and it's actually pretty amazing. So let me actually show you guys a couple of things that you can do with it. You can manage your clipboard history. You can set a quick reminders and based on what you're doing, it can suggest different actions. Like for example, I'm going to play this music. Okay and you have the music control here. You can play or go next and all that. Since we are in the browser, we also have some browser controls, like we can zoom in, zoom out, and you can also use AI features, like you can analyze and summarize the texts on the website or the text that you have selected. So these actions appear based on the things you're doing, okay? Uh, this one is really cool like for example i'm gonna select this url so you can see here at the top i can shorten this url right now and share it with other or i can generate a qr code for this url okay scan it and you'll be here uh listening to this music i like this music and i can play the music pause it and uh, i can see my clipboard history i can right click clear the history and the clipboard history will be gone. Now, let me actually show you guys a few things here. There is the three dot menu at the top. You can go into settings. And one more thing, this thing is still in beta. So you can see here, it says preview. So it's still new. It needs to polish things up. So yeah, you'll see some glitches here and there. So you can uh, move this thing to wherever you want. Top, bottom, left, right. If I move it to the bottom, it's going to be small, okay? But I can make it even smaller, like tiny. It doesn't take that much space. And you can also make your Windows taskbar even smaller uh, from the settings and, you know, you got the idea, <laughs> okay? So I think putting this to the top will be better, but it's a personal preference and make it smaller so it takes the less space. So for now, I'm recording a video i'm just gonna make it large and you can also choose the display where you want to display it on your first monitor or second monitor it doesn't have both monitor options so you can only use it on one monitor this thing is free to download okay but if you want to use uh, some ai features then you'll have to get a premium plan for this okay it's the Windows Sill Plus. But if you don't want the AI features, yeah, you can use it for free. Or you can also use your own AI API key from like Gemini or uh, ChatGPT. So you can also use local AI, okay? You need to install the Olama. And if you have a pretty good, decent PC, yeah, you can also use local ai okay there are a bunch of options whichever you prefer if you're into ai uh if you go into manage extension here you can manage all the things it does like for example if you don't want to use the clipboard history you can delete it and there are many other things like for example uh if i pick any image here and do a drag and drop and like for example this image i can perform some actions to that image like i can resize that image convert that image or compress that image okay i can hit escape to go back you can click on create an extension for windowsill to if you want to develop any cool extension or if you want to get more extensions you can click on find more extensions online it will open a web browser and uh, now you can download the extensions Okay, like for example, this one I think is pretty cool. Performance counter, let's download this actually. Uh, using this, we'll be able to monitor our system. Install extension, windowsill, uh, trust and install. Okay, we need to restart the windowsill. Let's do that. Now, it's opened. Now look at that, we have cool uh, extension, which shows the CPU, RAM, 
and also GP usage. <laughs> That's pretty cool. Now let's go to settings and here performance uh, counter. We can have a percentage or running man. Oh, <laughs> based on the speed. Uh, yeah, this, this is just fun, I think. Uh, let's do for GPU. Oh, GPU is running fast. That means it's using more GPU power. And this thing is still new, so there aren't many extensions yet. Yeah, you can also make your own extension if you want to, uh, so something like this. This this is actually pretty cool. Hopefully we'll see more extensions for this, more useful ones, okay? And uh, I don't know how to turn off the AI stuff in it. Here, I can. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna disable the AI stuff. You know, some people like it, some don't. So I don't want to use any AI features here. So now if I like, for example, open Notepad, uh, write here something, select it. Yeah, there is no AI thingy in it. Okay, but if I enable it and if I select any text, yeah, it's gonna open the AI thingy. Yeah, that's it for this one. Hope you enjoyed it. But if you still have any questions or have any suggestions for me, you can always do the comment and we can have some chit chat in the comment section too. Yeah, that's it. I'll see you in the next one. Take care of yourself and have fun. Bye-bye.